talking about the sewer system. From our homes, offices and factories, it quietly flows on its journey through 21,000 kilometres of underground pipes, removing the poo, the pee and the putrid from our homes and workplaces. Interrupted only by the occasional maintenance worker, it continues its long, dark and secret journey until finally it hits the treatment plants. I'm in the Bondi sewer 50 metres underground. This is the main sewer line from the city and eastern suburbs. About two hours ago, all this stuff was a flush in the pan in the central business district. About an Olympic-sized swimming pool of the stuff flows past here every few minutes. It's untreated sewage and it stinks. But in the next system over there, it gets the treatment. Toilets aren't designed for the disposal of tampons and condoms, yet through the sewage system they come. Food, bones, money, all sorts of things, even the occasional set of false teeth and genuine diamonds. It may well get rid of our unwanted products, but if we don't want it to end up on our beaches, someone's got to pick it out, and the muck stops here. The small yellow objects in amongst all the grit are bits of undigested corn. According to the workers, corn and peas arrive pretty much as they left our dinner plates. Slightly chewed and a bit bleached, but otherwise intact. Makes you wonder why we bother, really. Since the advent of the deep ocean outfall, Bondi's underground chambers have doubled in size. They're the largest of Sydney's underground treatment plants. Altogether, there's enough room down here to park about 300 semi-trailers, an enormous factory hidden in a hill. But spare a thought for the workers. Sulphur fumes from the effluent create the rotten egg type odour. In fact, the air contains so much sulphur, copper pipes in the plant, instead of going green, turn an intriguing shade of purple. It also leaves yellow furry deposits on the walls of the effluent tunnels. But fortunately, very little of the smell is allowed to escape. What really stops this place getting up the noses of local residents is this. A foul air scrubber. All the smelly air from the treatment plant goes through a chemical bath and comes out here smelling much better. But what's really interesting is where it goes when it comes out. Come and have a look. The problem with being underground is that without landmarks, you lose all sense of direction and distance so when you come out, it's always a surprise to find out just where you are. Emerging from the bowels of the earth into daylight once again really makes you appreciate some of Sydney's great above-ground views. Next time you flush, Think about who's on the other end, especially the so-called sewer rats. Once a year, they check on how the mains and drains are carrying the load. 